the obsession with space is because our bodies don't belong to us in many spaces. The bus driver who asked for my numbers and refused to drop me off at my stop because I wouldn't give him my numbers. That is space. When I walk in the streets of Johannesburg, and I love walking, and that's why I live in the city, it's really beautiful and everything. Even if I have no music playing, I have my earphones in my ears. And even then, my space is not respected. No, it's to pretend that I don't hear it, because I also don't put on the music because I don't think it's safe for me to walk and not hear things. So it's to create the illusion that I am not listening, but I can still hear everything. Because I don't want a man also walking behind me for too long and me not being aware of that. And if you have music in your earphones, that kind of happens, you know. So look at how my space, like, look at how I have to negotiate and completely rearrange my life to occupy public, what is called public space, but isn't public. This morning in the train, very uh, simple example. So, you know manspreading? I, I wrote a piece about it like three weeks ago actually. Manspreading, like men, man, like manspreading. They come in, you know, and they spread. Because that's what men do. They spread themselves everywhere. That's what masculinity and patriarchy teaches them to do. You can occupy as much space as you want wherever you go. No one's going to stop you. So we created a feminist stock file and in a lot of our events we don't allow men and white people simply because we just want to be black women and we want to cry we want to laugh we just want to be and this is the obsession about space that we have to consciously create the spaces where we just be otherwise they're not there trust me they're not there in this country